Hey, it's Julie G. I'm back again for another yoga video. Thank you for all your support and interest off the last uh, video that I posted from IGTV and my YouTube page. I really appreciate that. Thanks for all the yogis out there, the yoga community of Poe in Short Hills and Far Hills for um, supporting me in this little endeavor of my home yoga practice. I'm hoping that this practice will help all of us become better yogis and uh, you can take advantage of it whenever you feel you need it. A little bit more peace of mind, getting grounded on the mat today is the goal. Nothing crazy. Join the best that you can. If you have any injuries or anything that's bothering you, please omit anything that doesn't work for you um, or let me know you can comment. Um, and I'm happy to give you a suggestion. Come to a downward facing dog. So knowing that I might not have a lot of time, I just wanna use the time that I have on the mat to just move myself Bend behind the knees as much as you need. Spread your palms, press down into the floor. Don't be in a rush. You can take as much time as you need in each of these poses so you can feel and get what you need in the practice. Feel the outer arms hug in. Pull your belly in and up. Let your hips lift higher than your shoulders. Roll forward to a plank, stack your body so it aligns nicely and neatly and bring your gaze, your dristy point that's known as your gaze, a little bit forward just so your neck is neutral. Feel the ground, feel your thighs contract, press down a little bit more, feel the firmness of the floor, it's got you. Take another big breath in. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Roll forward to a plank. Stack your body. Know the modifications here, they're really important and I encourage you to take them. Drop your knees if you need support. You can keep your toes curled or press the tops of the feet. Just bend your arms in half chaturanga. Restrain your arms to a plank. Downward facing dog, hips press back. That works great for a lot of us to take in the beginning or throughout. If it doesn't work for you, just skip it. The other option is plank. Bend your elbows, find a chaturanga. Restrain your arms to a plank. Take a downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. You know these never get old. Hug your knee to your navel, pause. Keep the breath flowing, keep the energy flowing, glide your right foot forward. Come to your fingertips, feel the length, the length of your back left leg, your right hip pulls back, good. Slide your left foot forward. For the start, it's good to have the feet a little separated. Come to the fingertips, long spine, fold over yourself. Reach up, stretch up, grow big. Dive over, bend knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine, plant your palms, slide your right leg back, then your left. Modify if you need at any point, it's totally cool. If not, legs engaged, bend your elbows. Restraighten your arms to a plank, pause, hug your knee in. Step the foot forward and through, come to your fingertips. Don't be in such a rush, we all are. Slide your right leg forward. Long spine right here. Hands can always rest on your shins. This works great for a lot of us with tight hamstrings or lower back stiffness. Fold over your legs. Bend your knees as much as you need. Reach up, stretch up. Draw your hands to prayer for a second. Drop your arms. Reach your arms straight up. Dive in half over bent knees. I think you got the gist. Long spine, plant your palms. Left foot back, right foot back. Halfway to a chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. For the sake of today's practice, you don't have to hop ever. I'm just gonna walk. Look to the top of the mat. Step your right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Half whip. Fold. Reach up, stretch up. We're just gonna flow. Dive in half over bent knees. 
Come to the fingertips, long spine, plant your palms, two big steps back, halfway to a chaturanga, upward facing, take a new breath, downward facing. Step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward, long spine, fold, reach up, stretch up, go a little bigger, dive over the knees. Long spine, come to your fingertips, plant your palms, step your left foot back, step your right foot back. Bend your elbows to a chaturanga, modify if you need, up dog. Press through your palms, soften the shoulders, try and point your toes and lift your thighs. Downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Ground through your hands, look to the top of the mat, just step to get there. Long spine on the inhale breath, exhale fold, reach up a little bigger, dive forward a little fuller. Long spine sets you up, plant your palms, right foot back, left foot back. Halfway down, up dog pulls you through. Downward facing dog lifts you back. Spread your palms, spread your toes, feel the back side of your body lift. Press down, look where you want to go. Glide your left foot forward, step your right foot forward. Long spine, fold, reach up, stretch up. Dive over, bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare, plant your palms, left foot back, right foot back. Halfway down, upward facing dog pulls you through. Downward facing dog presses you back. Look to the top of the mat. You can walk. If you prefer to hop at this point, that's totally up to you. I'm just going to step, long spine, forward fold, sit into a chair pose, weights in your heels. Drop your seat, activate your thighs, lift your waist up, look forward. It's good to put your mat somewhere where you can look out, looking out. It's a sunny day here in New Jersey. Press up to stand, draw your hands to prayer. Drop your arms, leave it behind, it's done. Stretch your arms up, revisit chair. Fold over your legs. Long spine sets you up, plant your palms. How you like to get back, if you like to hop, make sure you're please floating to a chaturanga like this. Upward facing, downward facing. For today's practice, glide your right foot forward. Keep your back leg strong. You can also drop your knee. Come on up to a modified lunge or a high lunge. Reach your arms up, cinch your right thigh. Grip your outer hips in, look forward. Hands come down, plank position. Skip the chaturangas if they're not for you. If you're enjoying them, take them slow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Immediately left, land your left foot forward. Scissor the legs, integrate the legs together. Come on up. Bend into your front thigh. Feel the strength of your back leg. Lift your hip points. Activate from the ground up. Have a breath. Hands come down. Plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing slides you through. Downward facing dog presses you back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Look where you want to go. Step or float your feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale breath. Exhale fold. Sit again into that awesome chair pose. Stick your tush back. Bring the weight into your heels. Let your shins drag back. Lift your waist. Spread your collarbone. Lift your arms. Press up to stand. Draw to prayer. Drop your arms. Stretch your arms straight up. Sit again into chair. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Half lift to prepare. Two big steps or a light chaturanga. Upward facing dog pulls you through. Downward facing dog presses you back. Land your right foot forward, high on the ball of your back foot. Come on up, high lunge. Hands come down, plank position. 
chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing, left foot steps, high on the ball of your back foot, root your eyes. Hands come down, set yourself up for that plank, lower halfway, up dog, downward facing dog, hips press back. Let go. Each time getting a little fuller in your breath, less thinking, more feeling. Look where you want to go, step your feet or float to the top, half lift, fold, sink to seat, chair pose, press up to stand, draw your hands to prayer. Let's play with our balance a little here. If you have a block, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. You're going to take the whole block onto the mat, stand on your left foot, take your right leg up and come into a tree. You haven't been doing much balance here at home. So let's just check in with it. Hands can come to a prayer. Kind of grip your outer hips in. Feel the whole foot pressing into the block. Lift your waist. Spread your arms up. Pick something to focus on. Or maybe even practice at getting a little deeper by closing your eyes. Keep the lift of your side body. Float your right leg up, flex your foot. This can all be done without a block. No worries if you don't have one. You don't need to Amazon Prime your order. Flex your foot, draw the waist up. Step down off the block. Stand tall for a second, just let that go. And then stand with your right foot on the block. Press yourself up, come to tree on the left side. Checking in with our balance today. Grip your hips in, pull your belly in, bring your hands to prayer, pick something to focus on. Grow the branches of the tree if you feel that you'd like to. Keep the lift of the waist, spread the arms, lift up a little higher. Hug your left knee in, flex the foot, hold. Lower the left foot down, just kick the block to the front, stand with your feet together. Stretch your arms straight up, sit deep, chair pose, drag your hands to prayer, inhale that breath, hook the elbow and twist. Keep the two knees together, lift your waist, press the palms, drop your seat. Keep dragging your shin bones back and your toes should be able to lift a little bit up off the floor. Twist only where there's a rib. Now see if you can look up. Stay with it, take another deep breath in. Pull around to chair, stay in your legs, don't let that go. Drag your hands back to prayer, stay engaged, hook the elbow, twist the other way. Getting in there, making sure that your knees stay lined up, your shins stay lined up, it's the hardest part, your seat stays low, twisting with his rib, only the ribs, not with the back. Take another breath in. Chair pose, stay grounded in your heels. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine sets you up. Two big steps to get you back to plank. Lower halfway. Upward facing, point the toes. Downward facing, presses you back. Roll forward to plank. Lean onto your left palm. Side plank vashisthasana it looks like this. If you'd like to take your top leg into a tree today, by all means, go ahead and do that. You may even need a little bit of assistance. Lift your waist, press into the floor. Keep gripping your bottom arm under you, your left hip underneath you. Press your top foot into the top thigh. Plank position, keep the tree. Take your right knee towards your right tricep, hold. Hug the knee to the navel, step your right foot forward. Turn your back foot onto the side. Once again, if you don't have a block, it's fine, but if you do, place it to the inside. You can even use a small pillow. Place the palm flat, spread the left arm. Grip your outer hip, anchor your left leg, your left thigh. You should be turning a little forward. Good, if you feel like all the weight's dumping into your shoulder, maybe elevate, come to your fingertips. If you'd like to add a bind, half bind is a great place to be. Lift your chest, look off your top shoulder. 
Rip your top, your bottom hip under you and twist. Breathe through the posture. Take one more breath, feel the weight in the feet. Squeeze the thighs together, the inner thighs are working, the outer thighs are working. It's magic. Spread the left arm up, look up, anchor your feet. Warrior two, warrior two. Stay with it guys, broaden your arms and your chest. You're gonna be A-OK, -okay. drop down into the pose a little bit more. Look forward, circle the hands to frame your front foot, move the block out of the way, step back, plank. Your choice, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, maybe easier to do it. I had trouble the first time, roll forward, plank. Lean onto your right hand, vashisthasana side plank. Take your top leg into a tree if you'd like. Lift your hips. Another breath in. Keep the tree legs. If you can, plank position. Pause. Left knee, left tricep. Be here for a second. Keep looking forward. Take the round out of the back. Rip the outer arms in. Hug in. Draw it in. Hug the knee in. Step the foot forward and through. Turn your back foot. You should be heel to heel or heel to arch. Use a block if you have it. If you don't, really worry about it. Another option is to always rest the arm on the thigh. Palm goes flat. Right arm reaches up. If you feel like you're dumping into your shoulder, I have the tendency to do that. Come to your fingertips. If you'd like to add the bind, top arm wraps around. If your shoulder doesn't allow you to do so, don't worry about it. Rip your outer hip, twist your ribs, look off your right shoulder. Anchor your feet, broaden where you can broaden. More breath, more feeling. Extend your right arm, anchor your feet, glue your feet to the floor, pull up without bounce, warrior two. I've got a nice flyer fireplace that's keeping me warm to look at. Broaden across your arms and chest, hang with it, sit a little deeper. Where can you explore on the posture? Grip your left knee underneath you. Really press through the blade of your right foot as you drop down. Look forward, circle both hands to frame your front foot. Move that block out of the way. Step to a plank. Hang with me guys, we're almost done for today. Lower halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing, glide your right foot forward, keep the momentum going, root to rise, high lunge. Drag your hands to prayer, inhale the breath, hook the elbow and twist. Option to drop the knee if this doesn't suit you. If you'd like to keep the leg engaged, lift from the, lift from the glute, from the, ham, from the hamstring, twist open. And in my advanced yogis, if you'd like to open up your arms or take any sort of bind, be my guest. Keep engaging your back left leg. Twist your belly, twist your ribs. Look up. The crown of the head should be coming over the back of the left foot. The same line of energy. Another breath in. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Step to a plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing, here we go, left foot forward, high on the ball of your back foot, integrate the legs, come on up, high lunge. Sit a little deeper, drag your hands to prayer, inhale, length, and exhale, twist. Squeeze the outer thighs together, activate your back leg. Feeling is just temporary. Good. Lengthen the spine, lift up out of the waist, squeeze in. Hang with it, another breath or two. Take another giant breath. 
twist open, look up. Take both hands to the floor this time, step your right foot forward. Half lift, fold over the legs. Reach up, stretch up, drag your hands to prayer. Bring your hands to your hips, good. Step your left foot back, walk your right foot over to the right. Good, make sure your pelvis is neutral, your legs are gripping in. Right hand on your hip, left arm extends up. You're gonna come forward, maybe use a block if you have one. Go in step a foot, hand to the back of your hip, and then spiral from here. Hand can stay here on the pelvis just to keep you really balanced. Or right arm will extend up if you want more. Anchor through the outer blade of your back foot, press down through both your feet. Good, feel like someone's got you by your hips and they're pulling you towards the back wall. Press down a little deeper. Take another breath in. Right hand to the floor. Take the block with you, just gonna pivot, widen your stance. Come to your fingertips, long spine, half lift. Exhale, fold. If you want to add a hand variation here, interlacing the hands, you're welcome to do so. Bend behind the knees as much as you need. Inhale the breath. Exhale, fold. If the shoulder variation doesn't work for you, you can hook the big toes. You can grab the front of the shins. You can just have the hands down here on the ground. Or slide a prop underneath your hands to bring the floor up to you. Keep lifting your hips up, though. Get out of the hamstrings. Come to the fingertips, long spine, pivot back to the front, step your right foot forward to meet your left. Half lift, fold over the legs, reach up, stretch up. Once again, drag your hands to prayer. Hands to hips, pause, right foot back. About three feet is what we're looking for. You may need to walk your left foot a little over. Left arm on hip, right arm extends up. Glue your feet to the floor, lengthen the spine, bend behind the knees as much as you need, slide a block underneath your hand. Hand can just be on the flat part of your back, your sacrum. Top arm can feel open if you're looking for deeper. Look up towards the sky. Pick up the breath just a little bit more. The twisting always makes things a little bit more challenging. And the rinsing out. Anchor the outer blade of your back foot. That's what I feel right now. If I really press down into that back foot, I can really fire up that back thigh and I can get deeper into my twist. Breathe into the feeling. Stay a little bit longer. Good, look down, just move the block to the side. Anchor your feet, keep them the way they are, just pull yourself back up. One more thing, bring your arms up. Wrap your right arm underneath your left, Wrap your right thigh around for eagle pose. Squeeze the legs tight, lift the elbows. Take a point to focus. Try to line everything up the best that you can in the center line. Shift the weight back into your heel. If you can't get your foot to wrap, use your big toe like a kickstand. Bend into the legs as deeply as you can like you're sitting into a chair. Release, repeat the same motion on, this, on the left side. Wrap your left arm first, bend into your leg, wrap your left leg around. Hook the big toe only if you have that motion. If not, just have the big toe resting like a kickstand. If you can get the big toe to hook, that's fine. Squeeze in. Lift the elbows up to open up the upper shoulders, the thoracic. Weight is in the heel, sit a little deeper. If this doesn't warm you up, I don't know what does. Another breath. Reach the arms out and up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine, plant the palms. Step yourself back to your plank, lower halfway. Upward facing slides you through. Downward facing presses you back. Slide your right knee forward, come into a half pigeon right here. Your arms can slide forward, the forehead can rest. If this is not comfortable for you, go onto your back into ankle to knee, that's the figure four pose. So we 
good to make sure that your back leg is straight, the toes are pointed. If you'd like to hold this longer, please do. For the sake of today's video, just press back, downward facing dog, glide your left knee forward, open up this hip, set yourself up again, make sure the foot is pointed, extend okay. the arms. And if it's not comfortable for you, please don't take this version, come onto your backs and take ankle to knee or make a figure four. Feeling that you want is a really good stretch through the piriformis and the glute. If you feel any discomfort in your knee, you've gone too far back out of it now. Just take one more big breath. You can hold it longer if you care to. Press yourself up. Lean onto the left butt cheek. Swing the right leg around. Okay. So now we're almost done. Stay with me. I know time is precious. Someone's probably needing you right now. You're going to lay all the way onto your backs. You're going to set yourself up for just a little abbreviated ab work session. So ground your feet to the floor. Let your knees extend up. Reach your arms forward and pause. Keep your neck really long. Make sure your lower back stays on the ground and you're not lifting from your neck. You're really only lifting with the core strength that your body is allowing you to have. Keep the lift of the upper shoulder blades. Lift your legs at an angle. Pause. Rebend the legs. Lift yourself higher. Exhale, the breath just drop down. So just a few like this. You can embellish if you care to. Pull yourself up, you get the idea. Lift your legs on an angle, pause. If this hurts your lower back, go with a higher range of motion. Go with it like a 90 degree angle, that's totally fine. Rebend the legs, lift yourself higher, lower yourself back down. Pull yourself up. Lift your legs on an angle. Keep the left leg where it is, tap the right heel. Bring the right heel up to meet the left. Lower the left leg. Left leg meets right leg. Keep the lift of the upper shoulders. Rebend the legs. Lift higher. Exhale the breath. Let it go. One more time. Pull yourself up. I hear giggles. Lift your legs. Lower your right heel down. Bring your right leg up. Lower your left leg down. Lift your left leg up. Lower both legs down. Oh my gosh. Lift both legs up. Bend the legs. Lift a little higher. Exhale the breath, let it go. Hug your knees to your chest. Stem the left leg out, hug the right knee in, and just set up for a supine twist here. Come back to center, relax the right leg out in front of you. Hug the left knee to the chest. Take the left leg over. Come back to center. Bend the legs in half. I can't let you free until you've done a little bit of a back bend. So before we conclude today's practice, take your block if you have one. If you don't, your tailbone just lifts, your palms go flat, your inner thighs turn in. There's a lift of the upper shoulder blades. If you'd like to utilize the block, place underneath your lower back, any level that works. Press down through your feet. You can stay here. This is awesome. This feels so good. Or extend your right leg up. Flex your foot. Keep grounding your left heel down. You can lower your right leg to meet the left. Rebend the left, right leg. Place, place it down. Keep the lift of the tailbone. Keep the shoulders kind of briefly hugging together. Extend the left leg up. Flex the foot. Lower the left foot down, the left leg, so it hovers with the right knee. Keep gripping the hips in. 
bend the left leg, support before movement, press down a little bit more. You can stay here. If you'd like to move on to a full wheel, flip your palms, bring your chin to your chest, take a giant breath in, exhale your breath, come up. Turn your feet forward, turn your thigh bones forward, press down a little bit more, see if you can straighten your arms and legs if you're going for the full variation. Stay for another breath. Exhale the breath, come out, tuck your chin lower down, remove the block, remove it slowly, lower the tailbone down, let the tailbone hit the floor, take the feet the width of the mat, let the knees knock in. Exhale, let it go. Squeeze the knees to the chest. Exhale everything out and set yourself up for Shavasana. Turn your palms open, turn your feet open, let your shoulders drop down into the mat, let your pelvis fall into the floor. Close your eyes and just be still. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to sit myself up into a comfortable seat. Sitting up really tall, hands rest on the tops of the knees, or hands can come to a prayer. I'll challenge you to maybe sit here a couple extra minutes once this video ends, and maybe just take a little meditation or sit quietly with yourself. If you've had enough, bring your hands to prayer. Bow your head. Have some gratitude for this practice, for this yoga community, for your yoga mat and your healthy bodies. Lift your head. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for a little more. I'll do the best I can to get them out there. Be well.